So that's the whole idea behind the, the supplementation of creatine, like a lot of power lifters and sprinters, but we, I mean, I don't want to get, because that's a whole other side, there's a whole ethical side to that whole thing, but uh, that's the whole reason for it, because if you supplement with creatine, if you're familiar with that energy system, it's one chemical reaction. CP plus ADP is energy diphosphate, that CP, the creatine phosphate, the phosphate is cleaved off of the creatine and donated to ADP to give us ATP. So that whole energy system is one chemical reaction. There's no protein used, there's no carbohydrate used, there's no fat used. That's why it's very fast way to get ATP. And so if you supplement with creatine phosphate, then you have theoretically, and even practically speaking, you have more of that fuel source to then donate to ADP to give you more ADO both to get more ATP. And if you have more ATP, you can lift more weights or you can sprint faster. So you can't just supplement with it and do nothing. That's not going to make you stronger or faster. You still have to do the training. But it allows bodybuilders and other kinds of strength power athletes, it allows them to either push more weight or sprint faster by supplementing with the grid. And then over time, they can get bigger muscles and get stronger and faster and more powerful. So adaptations to this include increased fast twitch motor unit activation, because that's what this is all about, increasing the ability to recruit fast twitch muscle fibers. And then could increase activity of the one enzyme that catalyzes that one chemical reaction I just talked about. And that enzyme is creating time. So that catalyzes the chemical reaction of CP plus ADP gives you ATP plus C.